Good luck. There's a lot of Gen 1 stuff that has similar cries. Slowbro and Machamp. Goldine and Caterpie. Aerodactyl and Vileplume. Charizard and Rhyhorn. Omanite and Machop. Okay, so let me see if I can find that Earthquake TM. through the TM list and see what we got. I don't remember where I've already been. There's a item that I don't know that Poison extract. Okay. <coughs> Can somebody who knows this area tell me where the Earthquake TM is? Because I am wandering around and I'll probably eventually find it, but I don't know. Shitty move set. Okay. I'll have to see what TMs I can get. Falling down a hole near the end. Hyperior, <laughs> Jesus. That would have been cool to add to the team. Amnesia. Is amnesia more useful than smog? Smog is 30 power, 70 accuracy. I'm gonna say it's more useful than smog. also have that one, uh, what was it? I have a heart scale that I can use on something. Yeah, let me go through the list here. Focus Punch, I assume Schlepp can probably learn. Yeah, I kind of like its current moves, though. Earthquake. I'm pretty sure I want to give to Harambe. They're saying Venusaur can also learn it, but uh, I'd rather get the stab. Yeah, let's get rid of freaking Santom. It pains me to actually use the Earthquake TM because it's the best TM in the game, basically, and like it's one of those things that's like too good to use. But whatever, it will, hell, who cares? There it goes. So you're pretty much good. You've got your two good stab moves. And uh, that's all you really need. Anybody else learn to dig? Could give it to simple flips. Um, it's probably better than either reversal or take. I don't need two fire moves, and I also don't like reversal or takedown. Let me keep looking through the list, though. Shadow Ball. No. I could give something attract, that would be annoying as hell. I'll give it to something that doesn't have uh, <coughs> many other moves to use, like Croutons. I'll wait until that thing evolves, though. Uh, let's see. 
charge beam, probably artillery can get. Yeah. I don't have an electric move anywhere else, I could do that. Mm. It's tempting, I'll try to remember that as a possibility. Dragon Pulse, I'd rather keep Dragon Claw, but... I'm sorry, this part's gonna be really boring, but um, I'm just trying to make sure that I am making the most of my moves here. Shadow Claw. Yeah, let's get rid of Headbutt. Checked, unless for some reason Venusaur can get it. Nope. U turn. No. Pluck, I doubt it. But anyway. No. Okay, so Charge Beam potentially. Um, what else was there? Dragon Pulse on Arcanine. What else did Arcanine learn? Dig. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that. Um, actually, what is Arcanine's special versus physical attack? Oh, they're equal, okay. So yeah, I'll keep... I don't need Fire Fang and Flamethrower. We're gonna get rid of Fire Fang just because it's a duplicate. And then I'll get rid of one of the other moves for Dig. He made some art. I'll... Remind me when I'm done with this stuff and I'll uh, hopefully remember to check that out. Okay, reversal or takedown? Reversal at least can hit stuff super effectively. It might be useful in a pinch. Takedown, I don't really like recoil moves, so... Yeah, let's just get rid of that. So that leaves the charge beam TM, hidden power, which I don't feel like going through and checking everything with. It could give return to Ivysaur if it doesn't get a better normal move. Um, let me level that one up a little bit. Actually, yeah, can somebody, uh, can somebody just learn, or can somebody look up what, uh, Ivysaur and Venusaur's level up moves are and tell me if it gets anything good between now and 40? Because I don't think I'm going to grind all the way up to 40, but I mean, I might. It depends on what stuff things learn, so I just need to know what, what this will get, because I might have to use a heart scale on it. more damage if they have high HP. Yeah, I don't really... That's a special move? I didn't realize that. Eh. I don't care either way. Ivysaur gets nothing useful. Synthesis is cool, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've got potions, so... The healing moves are only good in, like, a competitive sense, because... It's, you, it's always better just to use a healing item instead, because then that way you get priority. So I think I'll probably teach it... Uh, I'll teach it Return, just so it has a non-recoil move. Um, heart Scale... I'm still kind of liking the idea of Rock Blast on Octillery, but... Uh, okay, how the fuck do I get out of this place? There it is, okay. Venusaur gets Petal Dance. The Heart Scale. Um, hmm. I'm thinking about it. Okay, actually, I need to go through and reorganize these moves. Razor Leaf, you definitely are first. You go there. You have two moves that are complete shit. You are fine as you are, I guess. Waterfall is technically slightly less powerful. No, it's it has higher base power, so yeah, waterfall is better. You go like 
Yes. Actually, I'll put Dig up second. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So yeah, let me go ahead and at least use Return. Um... I don't need double edge and return, but I definitely don't need sweet scent, so I'm gonna get rid of that first. And then. In front. I don't know if I care about Pedal Dance, though. I mean, it's definitely a much higher power than Razor Leaf, so maybe. No, nothing gets Shadow Ball, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I forgot, it doesn't have any happiness. Shit. I forgot about that, actually, so... Um... It's a filler move. Now here's what we're gonna do. I am going to save state, teach hidden power to Ivysaur, try to figure out what type it gets, and then, um, determine if it's worth keeping. Uh, yeah, the Ivysaur was caught in Victory Road. Neutral against Bug Poison. Probably same thing for Grass Poison, but let's see. Oh, I didn't even see the message there. Yeah, Neutral against Grass Poison all the freaking grass types in this cave, it's going to be hard to find something else. Oh, okay. It's been neutral against a lot of things so far. I wonder if it's just a dragon. Ah, damn it. Uh, you can't actually have a normal hidden power. Trying to think what else it could be. Ground, Ghost, Dragon, Dark. Well, if I find another uh, cadaver, I'll be able to tell from that. Cubone, what do you do? Neutral against Cubone. I. Ugh. Okay, I'll test it. That. Once again, won't be able to actually hit this thing. Whatever, I'm going to be uh, reloading this save state anyway, so let's see. Neutral against that, so it's not ghost or dark, it's either ground or dragon. If I can find another Rhyperior then I would know for sure. I don't remember which floor that was on. It has to be Dragon? Oh, well, here, let's test this. It's Dragon. <laughs> Not really the kind of move I wanted, but, uh... I mean... It doesn't have any other moves. I think I'm gonna have to teach it Pedal Dance, because it doesn't get, like, anything else, does it? I can teach it, uh, Attract. I think Attract and Pedal Dance are basically the only... Where's the TM store? Is it just at Goldenrod? Because I could check that out, I guess.
can I actually fly there from here? Oh yeah, I forgot, Jen, uh, in this game you can go anywhere from this place. Cause yeah, the only other, uh, hard scale move I saw that really looked interesting to me was, um, Rock Blast, and I wasn't even sure about that one, so I think we're just gonna go Pedal Dance on this thing. Just to make it at least somewhat decent. Lance isn't guaranteed to use dragons, though. Okay, so flash, double team, nature power, false swipe, light screen, reflect. I could go solar beam. There's a sunny day TM you can get somewhere, right? Does anybody know where that thing is? Oh yeah, Sludge Bomb. I can go get that. I forgot about that thing. Okay. So I'll get that at least. Let me grab Fire Blast for, uh... The lack of rage. Oh, I already put it in the PC. I was gonna teach that to Slugma. Um... it is in the radio tower. See, so yeah, I get to go all over the place. No, I'm not gonna go Frenzy Plant. I'm not a fan of the Hyper Beam type moves. It would be kind of interesting though, to be honest. I've not ever used any of those before. I'm almost kind of tempted to get it. I'm almost feeling like I shouldn't have taught Return. Double Edge has recoil, which I hate, but Return I'd have to specifically go out of my way to actually get it to be good, so I'm gonna keep Growth just in case I decide to like use it for something, but yeah, I'm, it was a waste of a Return TM, but I don't care, whatever. So there's that. Um, is Frenzy Plant special or physical? Because I actually kind of want to try that out. I would go Solar Beam, but I don't want to do Sunny Day and Solar Beam, because that's kind of annoying, so... Um, I kind of want to give this a shot. It is special. Okay. Where's the... Oh, it has to be fully evolved first, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Alright, so let me think. How is this going to work? So you're going to have... I'm going to replace Razor Leaf for... Um, yeah, replace Razor Leaf for Frenzy Plant. Um, I'll keep Growth because it'll buff that and Sludge Bomb. And then double edge, I'll, uh... Does this raise it only one level or two? 
I thought growth flourished at two levels. If it's only one, then yeah, that's not that good. I'll keep Razor Leaf as a grass move that it can use without having to recharge in that case. Only one level? Yeah, then fuck that. Okay. So... I just need to go level it up. And then, um... That's pretty much it. I'm not buying anything from the game corner, because... I hacked the coins in, and I wouldn't want to actually, like, make use of them for anything. I think I need to bait and switch for this a little bit. Jesus, that's a little... Sleep powder through heart scale, right? I mean, I'm gonna have to level this thing up anyway, so no. I don't like to use rare candies. I bought Fire Blast. immediately go back. I like how I'm pumping all of these, like, TMs and heart scales and shit into this Venusaur when it's been on my team for, like, three seconds and I didn't even really want to have it originally. <laughs> what? Is it happiness based? Erwin, what do you want? Okay. That's very annoying. You don't, you don't get happiness from KOing stuff, it's, uh, you get it from leveling up. I mean, I could, like, bike for a while, but that would be really boring. I'm not gonna do that. Do I have a Soothe Bell? Soothe Bell? <clears throat> I do. This is going to be fun. So, let me, uh, go to Goldenrod, give it a haircut, use all of the vitamins that I've picked up, and then see how we are from there. I swear, this thing better be a contributing member to the team. You can get different levels of happiness from this. I'm not sure how uh, how the game determines it, though. Eh, whatever, good enough. Let's use a bunch of vitamins. Let's 
starting with special attack. doubt that's going to be enough happiness to uh, get it high enough, so let's find out. Uh, the only barriers that do that are the EV reducing ones, and I doubt I have any of those. I can look. Oh yeah, remember when I planted berries? I sure as hell don't. Wait, did I actually? Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, there's that whole thing for berries right here. I don't think any of these do that. No, they don't. levels, and I guess we'll see if it's good enough. Can you get them at the department store? I don't know. I just have to uh, try my best to not let this thing faint, because that'll make its happiness go down. Remember how I uh, thought that I wasn't going to have to worry about happiness and I deleted return? That was pretty good. some uh, pretty shitty stuff here in the, in the Victory Road, I'll tell you what. Can't even leave the cave. Hmm? Well, yeah, I just I wanted to leave to uh, heal. I'm kind of curious how many rare candies I have. Let me check. I'm, I'm going to try to get up to 40. It's gonna take forever, though. Is that six? I could use a few of those. Um, I'll level up the normal way a little bit, and then I'll use those at the end. Um, probably. I always forget to exist. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get up to 40, and then um, if it still isn't happy enough, then we'll say screw it and not worry about Frenzy Plant. I really don't think it's going to be, but uh, I can hope. Either that or I just bike up and down for an hour, so not exactly the most uh, thrilling thing I can do. Not that this is any better, so since um, since we're grinding here, and this is going to take freaking ages, I'm trying to think of, like, a good conversation subject to bring up in the meantime. Phone numbers. Yes. I'm just going to say a phone number, and, um, if somebody wants to call it, then you're dumb, but you can do it if you want to. The number is 630-289-7181. That used to be my phone number when I was a kid. Maybe somebody's number now. I don't know.
Well, they glued a protector to ride on. That's the design. Yeah. I, just, I don't dislike Rhyperior. It, I don't know if it's necessarily, like, better looking than Rhydon is, but I don't hate it. Try talking to it. I can do that. I like dust more. Concerned about the trap. What did that mean? <laughs> you just fell for the trap. Okay. Eh. Too bad I don't have a lucky egg. Jesus Christ. Ah. Yeah, um... Now would actually be a good time to start talking about Sun and Moon stuff if it wasn't for spoiler avoidance, because I can certainly share my thoughts about those games some more, despite already doing a thought dump. I will avoid that. Um, I mentioned earlier that uh, I'm considering doing a uh, self-admittedly very awful pointing webcam at 3DS style stream of trying to get through the battle maze on um, and doing that on Thursday. I would need to know if uh, there is like any person at all who would want to watch that though. Because I feel like it probably wouldn't be very good. Come on. Well, Goatface would love to see it apparently. You say that now. There's no guarantee I would actually get through the 50 battles that I'd want to. Because I've tried a number of times. Some people would watch it. Okay. I mean, I, I can at least try it. What time on Thursday? I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. What do I look like? A cat? Hot mess battle frontier go. Clearly. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, that, that's another thing. Is um, I said before that if I if I'm gonna stream that, I am allowing spoilers. So if you are avoiding those, then you would not want to watch that stream. I don't know how many people are avoiding those. It seems like there's a lot, but it's probably like one or two people. Oh, you sent the Sunfisk plushie? Yeah, yeah, I would still have that. I like just the tiny little bits of cries you can hear every now and then. Um, I wouldn't be talking about sto uh, story spoilers, most likely, because I don't really know them myself. Worry Seed. I will get rid of growth now. Worry seed sucks and growth sucks. I'm trying to determine which one sucks less. He's playing some games, the worst he recalls. Gonna find out which one sucks the most balls. Angry video game nerd is here. Seed helps with trap. <laughs> is that what is that? It's that freaking bottle. But right there's it. not even anything in it. Spindas in here? Huh. It 
uh, certainly didn't show up until just now. Or the road I wonder what it replaced in order for it to be so rare. Where the hell is Frank Stallone? Is he in the bear suit? is as high as I'm going. I'm gonna go check happiness after that. Actually, no. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna level up everybody else while keeping it on the team so it gets uh, it gets points just from like walking, and then I'll check after that. Now, um, I'm debating if I should put. his face hot mess on here because it is technically a member of the team I guess I probably should put it here it's just I don't want it to be leeching all of my experience with the experience share but uh, whatever Starting off good here. But I uh, have a ghost move, which apparently does jack shit for damage. Kinda wish uh, Harambe didn't evolve at such a high level, because having a Garchomp in the Elite Four would be quite nice. Yeah, that's just the way dragons go. Yeah. They are the opposite of bugs. Did I get outsped by an Ariados? Or am I the Shadow Snake? That's probably why. Snake. <laughs> Bogey negative 3.0003. I'm not sure what that means, but I enjoy it. Oh, actually, before I forget, let me, uh... I like how Octillery can get Fire Blast, too. I might actually go for that. I can buy another TM. Eridwa. Yeah, I don't know if it's Ariados or Ariados or Ariados. I, I kind of go back and forth between different ways of saying it. Anyone know how the anime says it? Eridwak. Actually, yeah, why do I keep going back to heal? I should just train whatever I have left and then heal afterwards. It's easier that way. Ariados. What does it even mean? I mean, it's the same name as its Japanese name, I think, so it's either something in Japanese or something, like, weird. Eh! <laughs> I like that small portion of a loud eh. cry. Yeah. Eh. What learns Flamethrower at 53? Is it, like, Slugma or something? Oi, oi, Sasaba. Maybe named after the Greek. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Maybe a combination of Arachnid and Odosu. I remember that logic for the dose suffix also being used for Gyarados. It's like, it's the second one, so it's dose. Like, I kind of doubt that that's it, though. The only times they ever do that are, uh, Dinos, Vilas, Hydragon. Actually, I think that is the only time they ever did that. I'm not counting the legendary birds, because those aren't evolutions of each other. There 
Ariad Knight, yeah. I don't know if I pronounced that right. What if Arrakis evolved into multiple tiny spiders? Then I would, uh, not care for it very much. Well, do, do Duo and Do Drio are Duo and Trio. Those aren't like. Those aren't like. Just. I don't know. Point is, I don't think they've ever done it for like an evolution and not done it for the first form. Um, I don't want to do events tonight because I'd have to like. Look up the codes and that would take like five seconds. I figured I would do those when I eventually do Kanto. Ivysaur is pretty rare in here. Kind of interesting that I managed to catch up. that nobody else um, actually watched my crystal randomized playthrough because I didn't stream it or anything, but um, I've got to say, the fact that uh, in that game I started with Larvitar as my starter and um, it kind of sucked throughout most of the game and even in its final form wasn't all that great, um, Harambe here is kind of reminding me of that because it seems to be just kind of taking damage way more easily than it should, and it has a really shit attack stat. I played the first Pokemon Ranger game. I liked it. It was good. I played through the first Ranger specifically for Manaphy. I thought it was decent. Magnemite and Magnemite. Hot mess is definitely catching up. Does it evolve at uh, 37 or 38? Because somebody was saying earlier that uh, I should try to get Lava Plume, and if I'm if that's a Slugma only move and not Mag Cargo, then I might want to withhold us evolution. Did you know C dot's hidden ability is Pickpocket? No. Is, is there something interesting about that aside from the fact that it has no arms? I just think it's funny that the fucking acorn's walking around pickpocketing people. That is pretty good. Please. Magnemite, magnemite, magnemitiest. Giving pocket protector a whole new meaning. You know, if I had eight rare candies instead of six, I would totally uh, get this thing up to level 40 and then just use all the rare candies on it so I could get a Garchomp, but I don't really want to go all the way up to 42. Like, just getting to 40 is bad enough. Died from an Oddish. Up oh, at an electric heel. I'm so not even paying attention to what I'm doing anymore. I don't know if I. I mean, I don't like having one Pokemon a lot stronger than the rest, though, so, like. I would feel weird having it at level 48 and then everything else just being at 40. 
think of it this way, if I evolve it into Garchomp, it's gonna definitely have the highest BST of my team, and then when I start Kanto, I'll probably have to ditch it sometime early on. Um, whereas if I don't evolve it yet, then like... Okay, I actually just thought of a flaw with my own, with my own theory there, so never mind. Because I was about to say, if I don't evolve it yet, then like you'll get to see it more later, but that's not true, because... Here I would be able to use it for all the battles, so I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Um, because I'm already hating all this grinding. It's kind of taking like a few days. Hey, hot mess is catching up. It's I think it just hit 35, didn't it? Yeah, it's, it's actually equal to, uh, wait, was that 36 or 35? It's either equal to some of my team members or slightly beyond them at this point. Actually, wait, I think it might even be slightly bigger than the Nintendo. What a beast. Monolithic power adapter. He's playing some games. Get it to 42 and then use the rare candies if I have trouble. That sounds like a good compromise. Problem is, it's still taking forever just to get anywhere. To be fair, half of the experience is going to Slugma, though, so as soon as it hits 40, I can stop with this bullshit and actually get the full amount of experience. I will stream Undertale while streaming this game, just so that I have something else to do. Because clearly my uh, my throat is feeling up to that right now. This coconut shit isn't funny. This Kong has a funny face. Randomnius game I've played recently. Um, none. I haven't played any NES games recently. I do enjoy me some uh, Blaster Master, but the last time I played that was very shortly after we moved into the apartment in Rockford, which was, like, April 2011. I think the last uh, NES game you played was uh, Metroid. Oh, that's true, yeah. I forgot about that one. Last game I played on the Genesis was Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I think. No, I played I played a small bit of Lost Vikings and didn't care for it that much. That's pretty much all I have to say on that one. We did go through uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles a few months ago, though, and um, actually got through it on console with all the emeralds and stuff. I swear, this frickin', uh... The blue sphere levels for the second half of the game are, like, just so unreasonably difficult. It's kind of amazing. Yeah, they're pretty bad. We had to look up maps for them. Lava plume, there we go. So what is this thing? This is 80 power, 100 accuracy. Fire blast is 110 and 85. I'm going to get rid of recover because slugma is slow as shit. And if I ever need to heal it, I'll just use items. So there we go. This thing 
quick. It has better special than regular attack, right? Yeah, by quite a bit, so ancient power is not so bad. This is actually not a horrible move set. Amnesia doesn't need to be on there. But I mean, eh. Favorite John Tron episode is Stairfax Temperatures, with second favorite, I think, being um plug and plays. <laughs> Least favorite. I don't know. Are we do we count the top the top tens? Because a lot of those aren't as funny. I'd have to look through the list and see which ones didn't really interest me that much. I will say that uh, I find the Nuts and Bolts one to be overrated, though, because he doesn't really say anything about the game that goes beyond what most people think of the game anyway. The Conan one, I kind of remember that one. That's the one from which we got this jar of horse riders up there. I don't know what it is. It's scary. See, I couldn't remember if that was Conan or Hercules. No, Hercules ends with him dying and complaining about Congress. <laughs> okay. Did Harambe just suddenly get, like, a huge jump in its stats or something? Because it is actually killing stuff now. I say as, I, as it dies, but... I like the Scary Kids TV show ones also. He really fucks out there! Ten <laughs> million dollars! Takeshi's challenge is definitely good. I, uh... I watched... What the hell is his name? Deceased Crab play through that game. Um, and that was my first real exposure to it. And, um, that game is such... such bullshit. You know, I just realized that, uh... I should have done this a frickin' hour ago, and I did not think about it, so I'm just gonna blame the chat for not reminding me. But this top right corner of the screen has not been doing any good, so I'm gonna put the chat here, because that'll at least be something to look at for YouTube, I don't know. If Otherwise known as Beat Takeshi. Otherwise known as Sheik. It's a little bit visible. Yeah, I should have done that ages ago. I didn't think about it though. That way people can see what stupid things I'm responding to. Now that we're. I would say almost done, but unfortunately we're not. There's still a lot left. I mean, who the fuck is gonna watch this on YouTube? I'll just skip ahead. If you are watching this on YouTube, leave a comment now! No, don't actually do that. Don't. It's too late, they've already done it. I know. It's, it, it... If you are watching this on YouTube, leave a comment that says bears. God, you're gonna get scared. <laughs> I am gonna get a lot of bears, it's gonna be great. I hope people send you pictures of bears. They should post a picture of the bear if, if they want to do that. Pictures of bears get extra points. But don't actually say bears. Yeah, that was like the best thing ever. How did that go? It was like, if you want me to get the sword, then say to get the sword. If you don't want me to get the sword, then say bears. But, like, don't actually say bears, because that's stupid. <laughs> and then in the next video, I'm like, well, um, a lot of people voted. Some people said to get the sword, some said not, some said bears. Uh, if you said bears, then I guess you're getting what you wanted, but, you know, fuck you anyway for saying it, because I told you not to. <laughs> like... <laughs> This isn't over! Bears! <laughs> Every bounce is flashed potatoes. 
sometimes I have to laugh at stupid shit that I've said in no days. It's like unbecoming of people to laugh at their own jokes, but whatever. Bad connect! Time to play a game of dissipating bears. I have not used this thing in a single battle successfully, so I have to make sure it stays that way. I was gonna take the experience share off, but it's so close to getting up to 40 with it that we have to we have to not break the the uh, the good streak here. Yeah, Nick Cage punching the old woman in the face, that was pretty good. I think this cat's been eating rubber bands and ribbons. Now that half the experience is not being leached, I believe we can uh, speed up this process a bit. Oddish is not going to be the best one to uh, prove that point because it doesn't get much XP, but whatever. Oh no! There's no point in me giving the experience share to something else, because the, it's going to be distributed, like, it'll take just as long. The only reason I was giving it to a uh, hot mess is because I didn't think it could really, like, hold its own in battle for most of this. Once it got into higher levels, it could have managed, but I didn't want to actually, like, take time to take it off of it. No, we're not grinding it up to 48. I'm getting it to at least 40, possibly 42, but I want to get everybody else up to 40 also. So it's, uh, we're still gonna be here for a while. Now, the Johto Elite 4 starts at 40 and goes all the way up to like 55, doesn't it? Meanwhile, I'm over here getting level after level by just pressing A. Oh, uh, from the triple battle of Bliss A. Yeah. yeah. Leveling in Auras is the easiest... What the fuck is this? It's the easiest it's ever been in any Pokemon game, and I'm afraid that in Gen 7 it won't be available anymore. I mean, I'm not sure whether it will or will not, I'm just saying I'm afraid it probably will. I'm not sure either way, but I don't think it is. Ends at 50, okay. That's better than 55 at least. Um, one good thing I can say about this is because of the randomizer, uh, basically changing everybody's teams, there's a very high likelihood that the Pokemon I'm fighting won't actually have good movesets, especially if they have stone evolutions, so it'll work out in my favor in, like, in that way. I think pretty much anything that Lance gets will be an improvement over to his actual team. But I don't know, I mean, the Dragonites could potentially switch to, like, anything that's 600, so... They're either going to be other pseudo-legends, or possibly even legendaries. I just have to hope that they have really shitty movesets. Do you remember what I was fighting in Crystal Elite Four? Didn't they have stupid shit like Hoot Hoot? Yeah, I remember that Elite Four was... I think that was one of the easiest ones we'd ever done, because the randomizer... We didn't tell it to preserve base stat total, I don't oh, think. Oh, okay. 
Which is why we found ho under a rock. I like the ho under the rock. Right, there's 40. Oh boy, learning to dig. Um, do I want dig over Dragon Rage? I don't see any reason. Earthquake's better in basically every respect, so... Dragon Rage is useful if something has, like, defensive buffs or something. Alright, let me switch you up. Only got two more Pokémon left to grind. Plus the two extra levels for Gabite, I guess. We're slowly getting there. It's definitely speeding up uh, post experience share, though, I can say that much. Ugh. I never did get the Dratini, actually. I should probably go do that just because I'm curious. Yeah, do it. Yeah. I have to go back to Blackthorn to check the uh, move tutor anyway, so I'll do it when I'm there. Yep, use that. Uh... Oh, actually, Grass and Fighting are both, like, quad not very effective against this thing. That's pretty good. What does Rhyperior's ability do? Doesn't it, like, make it so super effective moves do less damage? I... What is his ability? I don't remember. That's why I'm asking. Like, it's just, it's something weird yeah, like I'll, that. Yeah, I'll look it up. I think I'm it, sure it, 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 might, it might be called, like, Overcoat. He can get sturdy, I think. Belt him with Quash. Okay, so... Solid Rock. Deals two thirds damage, okay. I mean, this will never look up anything. Well, I mean, I figured the chat would answer it before you got a chance to, anyway. Oh, it's the exact same as Filter? Is Filter on anything other than Mr. Mime? That's, that's only I will I redirect all of my inane what comes after or before or is this number questions at the chat instead of at you. But why? Um, because they're annoying. They're, they're meaning my questions. I like answering the what comes after this because it makes me feel like memorizing that was not completely useless. I mean, it still was, but it makes me feel like it wasn't. Mega Aggron. Oh. I like how Mega Aggron actually loses a type. It's just kind of weird. Slowly dying. Jellicent has the biggest mustache I've ever seen. It's uh, it's pretty good. Will you stream insert popular and overstreamed game here? Yes, because I'm doing Undertale. We've already established this. good enough. Yeah, that's all we needed. Bam!
Life is strange, more like life is fucking stupid. We're getting close. Er, not really close. Close enough. There's extreme speed. I'll take that over reversal, thank you. Great news, I've got a, gotten a second wind. Good news, everyone! I've taught the toaster to feel love! Not sure what reminded me of this, but I saw this uh, topic on Reddit earlier that said it was basically just talking about like shitty news websites that are um, reporting information on like the Pokemon Go update that's going to have Gen Two, and like how they just know absolutely nothing about it, and they're like, "All new Pokemon, get your sneak peek here. Are babies going to replace eggs?" Like, it, it was pretty good. <laughs> And apparently a lot of people are seeing these ads on the side of buses that are uh, claiming that Sun and Moon are going to be, like, the hip follow-up to Pokemon Go. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess? Mm, I would say not even remotely. Meet Kingdra, the master of the sea, and 99 other new Pokemon. I can't wait to find out that uh, Pokemon Go is going to be completely required to get certain things in Gen 7, because uh, I will not be happy with that. Okay, chat, where do I get a Stantler in Omega Ruby? Go. But, but I can answer that, though. It is the, I know we just looked that up like two days It is ago. the Mirage Forest near Route 104. 104, okay. I think. The, ch it. the chat should probably confirm this. Actually, I, I remember looking it up two, two days ago, and that, that is right. I am certain. And then there was the time that you asked me what came after Lilligant, and I answered, and then you forgot. No, it didn't happen. It, totally it happened. never happened. Definitely happened. It definitely didn't. I'm convinced you're fucking with me because my memory is that bad to where I have just enough doubt to where I feel like you might be right. I would not lie about that kind of thing. You didn't even know about this. So I, I explained it earlier. You, you have a really bad memory, <laughs> It's not that bad. Kind of it's not that bad. It's, kind of it's, bad. it's not blackout <laughs> like I'm missing periods of time in my life bad. How do you know? You wouldn't know that, would you? Because you wouldn't remember. <laughs> well, that's the thing. There's a difference, though. There's a difference. I like this spin duck because it's blushing. It is good. There's a difference between can't remember and <laughs> certain it didn't happen. <laughs> like, I can remember it not happening. <laughs> Like, I, I remember the exact conversation. It was, like... I mean, why would you lie? It was... He wouldn't! You, <laughs> said, you said, like... I don't know! You said, like, uh, how do Cottony and Petalil evolve? And I said, with a sunstone. And then you said, what comes after Lilligant? And I said, Basculin. And then you asked something happen. about, like... And, <laughs> then, and then you no said, order. like, where do I get sunstones? It's from the Hydreigon thing, right? And I'm like, yeah. And then I looked up if there was any other way to get them. And then you asked what comes after Lilligant, and I'm like, you already <laughs> asked that. <laughs> it never happened. It didn't. Just, just I swear it, it didn't. Just I remember the order it. of the questions. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't happen. Maybe it's maybe it's early onset. You know, we don't know. And it's it could be rough. I'm very seriously concerned that there might be something medically wrong with me. 
Everyone has has moments where they forget. I mean, sometimes I just I, black out, forget <laughs> something that literally just happened. A lot of I times, a lot of times, I talk to somebody and just don't pay attention Maybe. to their response at all. Maybe I wasn't. So. It's not that I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it's the narwhals. That's what happened. Oh God, it is. <laughs> Definitely the Nargles. I or wait, no, like no. It's more likely. No, no, Nargles don't do that. Rack spurts do. Yeah, I, I just. I feel like it's more likely that I was dragged from one universe to another, <laughs> in which. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> without check to see noticing. How the bears is spelled. <laughs> <laughs> in which I had already asked that, but because I wasn't there to experience it, I re-asked it. <laughs> And you remember you remember answering it, but I don't remember what asking it because if, this isn't the same reality anymore. Well, it could be a matrix glitch. Like maybe maybe there was a bug somewhere and Josh. Okay, like, everybody's forty. Had deja vu. Let's let's hit forty two. I don't know. We are so close that I can taste it, and this yellow popsicle hits the spot. There was a uh, an episode of a show on the Disney I Channel saw a that, show. that tried to uh, tried to make the claim that any time you experience deja vu, it's because you actually are reliving the exact same event again, but you don't remember it happening the first time because someone somewhere is using time shifting magic. Oh. But you only remember like the most recent occurrence of time. Switch to slowest Pokemon to run away. Now I'm going to use Hex on a Blissey, because I'm literally too lazy to press the right arrow button. Isn't Hex a ghost move? It is. It's okay. So are you just hoping it dies from poison damage? No. I have a Blaziken that'll kill things with Sky Uppercut. But I also have two other Pokemon that could be doing something, but aren't. Because I'm too lazy to hit the right button. Or pay attention to the screen on this game at all. Billy and Jimmy? Billy isn't even a real fucking name! <laughs> that episode was a little bit dumb, but I enjoyed that line at least. <laughs> Billy isn't even a real name! So he finally used a CK. Okay. Was it, uh... Everything like... you ever hoped for? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Did it steal Hitler's haircut? Odd looking duck. Wait, you were in a coma when the Mew event happened? Jeez. I am curious, but I will not ask. That's cool that you finished the ducks, though. Jimmy and Johnny. Uh, what was the thing from uh, Parks and Rec where Andy was saying like there was Burt Macklin and then his twin brother who had like a name that was very similar but also the last name was different. <laughs> like it was Ryan something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yeah, it was pretty stupid. Wasn't it like Ryan Fletching or something? Was it? Because he usually goes with Burt Macklin, so the second one I think was like something that rhymed with that. The collection, the collection isn't obsolete. As far as I'm concerned, every generation has a separate collection goal, and like. Completing it in one game is, like, all you need to do, and then when another game comes out, you do not need to worry about that. I mean, I'm currently filling my box with a living deck in Aura. But are you right filling now. your water with water? I'm filling my water with birds! Alright. I'm the daddy now. I never watched the Wayside cartoon. I knew it existed, though. I 
get one more haircut. need any more fire coverage. Can it? Hmm. Actually, I should probably go Blizzard. Because Aurora Beam is pretty weak. 65. Blizzard is 70% accurate, I think. Which is definitely not great. But, uh... I think I'd rather go for the raw power on that one. Brilliant holes in the gallade with a dawnstone. Yes. Bam. Oh shit. It also has to be male. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about that when I read these. Shit. Hmm. I'm I probably have one that's male, maybe. Is the male chance on it twelve point five percent? No, it's fifty fifty. To be female to become Gardevoir? No. Oh. I feel like I'm making a mistake getting Blizzard here, but uh. I don't know. We'll roll with it and see what happens. Yeah, 70% accuracy is not really a great, but uh. Actually, let's just get rid of Octazooka. Screw it. Have both. And then screw getting Fire Blast. I don't need it. Alright, so I think that was the only thing I wanted to buy here. A cat is flying too. Yeah, I think. I think there's a sensor on in the chat. I thought that was just part of the chat naturally. I didn't know that that was something you had to set. Come on. Oh, what the hell? Oh, god damn it. Oh my god. Still not happy enough. That's pretty good. So I wasn't paying attention, and both of my Litwicks learned Memento, and I used it twice on a Blissey. Mm. And they both died. Shit. Well. Does stuff still evolve if it's fainted? I don't know. So we're gonna find out pretty soon. Is there any other way I can raise this thing's happiness quickly? I really don't want to just do a bunch of biking. <laughs> Change it to sponge. That would be somewhat appropriate, but no. Because I was hoping to learn sleep powder with the heart scale. Um, I could go... Vitamins cost frickin' a lot of money, though, and it probably has too many EVs now. So yeah, let me just, uh... Yes, I have the choice of sleep powder or pedal dance. I'm gonna go Sleep Powder because it's more useful than just having a stronger attack, I think. Um, like, I've already got a different grass type on my team anyway, so... Yeah.
Okay, so let me uh, figure out what I'm doing with items here. Choice specs are still okay. Um, it has one move that isn't special though, so that's a little bit annoying. No, Harambe hasn't evolved. Seat, I guess is okay. So let's see, what do I have for held items that would be useful? Charcoal, I guess is okay. Quick Claw, I think I could probably give to a hot mess, so I'll do that when I get it out of the PC. I'm gonna give Charcoal to, um, Simple flips for the time being might replace it. It has a lot of HP. Mm, there isn't any specific one that has like a ton more than the rest, but I'll give it here anyway. Never melt ice, don't really need. I mean, I think, I think if I... Assuming Venusaur doesn't get dropped, it'll get its happiness just through natural play anyway, so I don't really need the Soothe Bell. Mystic Water... No, I don't really want... Let's do that expansion. Wow, I really do not have a lot of good health items. So who still doesn't have one? You don't. And that's actually it. Do I have anything that boosts Dragon or Ground? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything worthwhile, so let's just put the amulet coin back on. I'm not going to go around looking for held items, I don't care enough. Now, are my movesets good? Fine with this. Fine with this. Fine with this. Yeah, that one's okay. Fine with this, and then Hot Mess is honestly just filler, but it has at least a few moves that are okay. I would give it a Tract, but um, I don't know how useful that would honestly be. So, um... I'm seeing two possible things as happening here. There's absolutely no middle ground. Either the Elite Four is going to be extremely challenging and all of the work I just put into this was completely justified and still wasn't enough, or they're going to be complete pushovers and I just wasted two hours of, of grinding. Like, but that, here's the real question. Who is the question? What level does that make of all that? Um, Lamp Hunt is something stupidly high, like 42 or something like that. Chandelure is Dusk Stone. Yeah, I, I knew that. I wasn't sure when it becomes Lamp Hunt, though. Oh yeah, I should check and see if there's a Mirage Island off uh, Route 104. <clears throat> Alright, let me make sure I've got some items going on, and I think we're good. Level 41, okay. Then the question of whether or not something will evolve if it faints is Actually, unclear, because they did not reach 41. Can't hurt to have too many items. Canvas skin. Yeah, I think we're done. Missing the Ludicolo family. So let me do a proper save. We've got a Kerbaya. This one is female. That one is female. That one is female. Damn it. Got a shiny Litwick, had zero special attack IVs. Good.
Now, I'm still on set instead of shift for battle style. I'm gonna keep it that way. Let me actually turn animations on, though, just to be, like, fancy or some shit. Hot of Greed is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't remember what it does. Space Mambo. I know I have one in my room somewhere. Apparently I'm battling, uh, Datai's Pumpkaboo here. Uh, no, it's just Tristian. How many freaking Tristians are in this game? Alright, what type do you have? Carbine. Well, I've got, we got, got grass here. Let's switch to one of my several fire types. I will start with the worst of the two. Draw two cards. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a real winner. No, Pot of Greed is not the best card, okay? That would be Space Mambo. What about that, like, Hyper Ultra Super Purply Dragon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forget what that thing's actual <laughs> name remember. was. It was pretty good, though. Let's get some Amnesia you know buffs. I played Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was eight, and I haven't touched it since, except very briefly a few months ago, because I meant to get back into it, and I still do, but it costs money, so I'm waiting on it. But, if I can't remember that I asked a question five seconds ago, how on earth am I going to remember what a random card in Yu-Gi-Oh does from, like, 16 years ago? Hold on. The math's a little off. Fourteen years. But... I think it's amazing that I even remembered that Pot of Greed is a Yu-Gi-Oh card, period. Interplanetary Purply Thorny Dragon. Yeah, that's the one. That's such a I'm, I'm putting that in my deck. That is... I gotta have it just because of the name. I don't even care. Ah, shit. At least it's a dragon, which goes well with my deck. Oh. I didn't care for the show. I saw a few episodes of season one, and I saw one of the movies, and I was like... Yeah, okay. They, uh... They very much overplay this. <laughs> that, and much like the Pokemon Will anime, his next Pokemon be special attack? Because the show does so. not really adequately yeah. represent what actually happens in the game. Which, I mean, is fine, but... Oh god, this is gonna be a battle for the ages, too. Here, we have two things that are slow as shit, and, um... I mean, not that that matters, but, uh... That thing is really defensive, and... I don't really know how this is gonna work. I'll go ahead and put up my third Amnesia, though. Uh, thank you so much, Kif, for letting us know. Has a brain fart and gains stats. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. What's the D stand for? Don't watch it! That's the only thing I know about 5 Ds. It's just that one quote. Come on, damn it. What I'm doing right here is the equivalent of Ash using the Krabby in the Indigo League. I'm just... I'm bringing in my Pokémon that I've never used before at all, and kind of just hoping for the best. So far, it seems to be working out for me. Is this battle one, though? Yeah. Nah, shit. Uh, I mean, 
mean, I put up three amnesias. I, unless this thing has a physical grass move, I think I can take a couple hits from him while I try to wake up, let's see. Okay. What comes after Bear Tick? Cryogonal. Okay. What level does those come to evolve into Bear Tick? I'm gonna say high 30s, low to mid 40s. I don't know for sure. Okay. I don't really want to use all my super potions in this first match. I do have some fresh waters, though. I'll just use those and kill it, because it's four times weak to water. Oh, and I've got lemonade. So yeah, I'll just use super potion, whatever. Can you take another hit there? <laughs> the, moral, the moral of the story on this one, real, real good, is uh, don't be unlucky and be a dog. Two victory bells. Okay. I refuse to switch out. We're gonna make this work, damn it. I'm using like all my PP against this thing too, but I don't even care. God damn it. Okay, fine. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. That's a good song. The only lines of that song that I know, although I do have the song somewhere on my computer. Nature power turned into try attack. Don't you dare freeze me. Don't do it. Okay. Alright, so there goes the first guy. I uh, got more use out of hot mess than I expected to. I'll give it that much. Tell a hot mess onlyness. Okay. That was the stupid E.E. E. Cummings poem, wasn't it? Yes. I'm impressed that you remembered the name. I know of E.E. E. Cummings because he was mentioned in a strong bad email. Uh oh. Pokemon are not all about brute force, as you will see. So he uses fighting types. I fully expect that to be the case now. Elite Four Tia. Yeah. Nope, we've got Bug. Or Flying. Uh. I hope I called the rest of Bug, Electric, and Steel. Uh, so far you're doing well, unless this is supposed to be flying. Yeah, right now you have a 50 50 shot of being right. Not mess, get back in there. You, you go for a hot mess. You got this. There is no way you nah. don't got this. Unless you get put to sleep. Wake up. There we go. And you're going to get the quick claw, and you're going to get a burn on this man time. Well, it's flying, apparently. As you can tell from this... Uh, Sea creature. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's just go water here. <laughs> the next Pokemon is just a sea king. That would be pretty good. Yeah, this thing's specially defensive now that I think about it. This might have not been the best idea. See how much Aurora Pain does. Oh, we're bouncing. Get that bounce. Is there anything else that can do a good amount of damage against this? Not really. I don't have any electric moves because I didn't go with Charge Beam, so. Yeah. Just stay in. Hopefully, hit it with Blizzard. Oh, I forgot I was locked down. Don't paralyze. Okay. 
do more than one sixteenth of its HP. Well, that was like one sixth, <laughs> one fifth, maybe. The hamburger with teeth was a uh, hungry burger. I have one of those. In order to summon it, you had to use the the ritual card, um, let's see, I think it was just called Hamburger Recipe. Most of the ritual cards didn't really have very original names. Is it out of bounds to get down there? Maybe it was called Cooking with Dog. Cooking with the Dog. It was one of the first ones. Man, I can't believe I was I actually started playing the game when it came out. That was so long ago. Come on. I like how uh, it's sticking to the actual, like, Koga mechanics of just being really annoying with status effects. Come on, please. Nope, still didn't kill it. Wait, what? Hmm? The cooking with dog, dog died recently? Wow, oh, that is slightly sad. This is uh, kind of screaming for me to hit it with uh, ancient power. Actually, yeah, this kind of sucks. Let's try to put this thing to sleep before it can do too much damage. Oh. Oh, this is gonna suck. Number 107, Gravity Eyes Tachyon Dragon, can't go in my deck because if I remember right, it's not a dragon. Despite the fact that it says it is, I'm pretty sure it's a machine. Oh, this thing's gonna kill me. Yeah, every single one of these flying types has not really been a typical thing that you think of when you think of a flying type. Although I do like Yon Mega, it is cool. You don't see it very often. Don't be a piece of shit. Take it here. Okay. 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 Oh! Do okay, we have this? I'll be counting on this from the very beginning. Oh my god, it had a black sludge. I sped through that, so I only saw it for a couple frames, but that was amazing. I, I didn't see what happened. I got the jump pluff down to the red, and then because Koga's Pokemon must have been holding a black sludge in the original game, this thing also was, so it took damage from it. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. I must hone my skills, and perhaps in the future, not give my things poisonous items. Yeah, using individual potions. Well, there's no better time to use them than now. You know what? I'm inspired. I'm gonna go get my Yu-Gi-Oh deck and look for things with retarded names. Well, we're gonna lead with uh, Harambe again. Even though it has not been useful so far. Someday it might be. So, Psychic. Amzy! 
Pansy. Oh my god. Pansy. That is the perfect name. Oh, well, we got either steel or rock here. Yeah, I remembered right. So, uh... I actually have some Chinese bootleg Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, because, like, someone in my grade school was distributing these things. I don't know where they came from or why they even exist. But these things are pretty great. Because you can't read what the hell they do. They don't make any sense. <laughs> like, Fire Vomiting Dragon. Which is of type Machine Junta. Yep, and, they've got steel. And uh, its effect is dicing coin three times, comma, no space, when two times adverse one of the card from the adversary's field can be destroyed. This effect can just be used one time in one bout and must be used in one's own ground. Okay. Ooh, is that a special move? Yee. Okay. I like Slifer the Executive Producer. It was my favorite. Here's a fusion that's the XY Dragon Cannon, which is labeled correctly. However, its effect is X Cannon Head plus Y Dragon Head. If you have no such two cards, please make a special call C-U-O combination magic card necessary to give up one card to destroy your opponent's monster, which is on its backside the field. On its backside the field. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Your opponent's attacking four row may become zero, while fighting against you, you can choose the starting time. Okay. <laughs> this is just a bootleg card. Yeah, these are all just bootleg cards. Like, they're, they're real cards, but with the text, like, horribly translated. Da -da. I like when the song just screws up. Provo Pass and his ridiculous Ferris mustache. I like Provo Pass. <laughs> and yeah, three of his four Pokemon were Rock Steel. And they were all from separate families. I think this is just evidence that, um... I think this is evidence that there needs to be fewer rock steel types. Or at least, don't introduce any more. Control the dragon and start attack by its nift with evil force. <laughs> by its nift? Ooh, seed bomb. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That sounds like a good move. That is quite a good move, okay. Well, let's see, you have actually done me surprisingly well throughout this game. It is time for you to be replaced. You have done me a good. Although, technically, I think Bullet Seed, on average, might have done more than Seed Bomb, but Seed Bomb is more reliable, so whatever. Oh, here's Lord of D. The Calibrator. The Kayed. Nitwit Outwit. Anybody that I haven't really used much? You know, as a kid it never occurred to me, but uh, when I started going back through these cards as an adult, I realized that these things are definitely designed with a sense of humor in mind, which is kind of unusual for card games. Usually they take themselves pretty seriously. You wouldn't find half this this shit in Magic the Gathering. Crystal, that's a surprisingly kind of fitting name. And what type do you have, Crystal? Ghost or possibly flying a second time? It's such a minor detail, but I like how in this game, when you're, uh, 
when your lead Pokemon that's out of its Pokeball is sent back in battle, it just kind of like shifts off to the side instead of being recalled. Come on, crit. There we go. Oh, fucking aftermath. It did like 25 whole damage. I mean, come on. There was a Yu-Gi-Oh called called Do a Barrel Roll, really? Here's Space Mambo. Space Mambo. So, pointless question, but I'm curious. This thing just used Embargo, so it disabled my held item, which in this case is the Amulet Coin. Does that mean I don't get boosted money after the battle, or does that only matter so. if... It does it, I'm assuming it only matters if it's like a battle item. I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, Amulet Coin's ability activates as soon as it's, like, on the, on the field at all. That was a terrifying Gengar sprite for, like, a frame there. Also, I'm worried about this thing, because I have a feeling it's going to put my team to sleep. gonna outspeed me, so let me just get in a heal and see what it does. Oh, I can't actually heal because of the embargo. So yeah, let's just switch. I don't have any normal types, so you, you're my fodder. Let's see what you do. Payback DVD, excellent. <laughs> I still don't know what that move does. Payback, it does, I believe, double damage if it goes second. No, that's revenge. Maybe it's the same thing as revenge, but for dark type. Burn it. Burn it. Damn it. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's heal up. Oh, no, it's just gonna kill me anyway. Unless, unless, uh, Quick Claw kicks in. Let's see. No. Oh well. There was an attempt. Psybeam will be super effective. I could try to sleep it. Yeah, let's just go for Psybeam. Jesus, that was a lot of damage. At least I can have it. I'm kinda surprised I did. I guess that's the choice specs. Haunt, 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 haunt. I just remember Haunter having a really stupid cry from the anime. so it won't kill me in, like, one turn, maybe, if I'm lucky. Yeah. Spam, spam flamethrower is the only strategy I need. Who was that trainer earlier that said you shouldn't just use strong moves indiscriminately, because I'm not taking that advice? It's a random speech that everybody loves. Never understood why that one was always remembered. I mean, it's... Why? why? Why is that one remembered? I mean, it has a decent message. I don't know. It's... That was certainly a uh, good use of a potion there. Do I have 
many berries. No. Okay, so we're wasting more super potions, but I guess that's okay. So I like everybody to be at full. So unless there's any repeat types, which there probably won't be, I don't know if the randomizer can actually check for that or not. I'm fine with you being down 1 HP. I'm gonna guess electric, just because I haven't seen much of that in this game. It would be interesting to have an electric leader. Check what the Dratini was, I forgot about that. Cristiano! What do you got? Grass again? Grass. Really? Okay. There's a clash of the uh, Titans here, apparently. This will prove once and for all which gen is better, one or two. I like gen two better, but in this case, gen one is going to win. From type advantage alone. Now he's just using the dinosaur type. So we'll have this, we'll have like Tropius, which to be fair is also grass. We'll have Tyrantrum, even though that's a completely different gen. I don't know if I want to be using up all my sludge bombs. Oh, this is his level 50 though, so actually, yeah, I might as well. Let's try to put it to sleep though. Because, uh, Powder moves stopped working on grass types in Gen 6. That is not the case here, though. Oh, powder moves stopped working on grass types? Yeah. You also can't paralyze electric types anymore. Which I find kind of weird. It makes sense to not be able to paralyze them with electric moves, but stuff like Body Slam I feel like should still be able to. I don't think we're going to get to see Garchomp here unless something really bad happens and I have to reload that save state. That's okay. it will have a chance to show up some point later in the game. I'll use that against, like, a random Kanto gym leader months from now, and then I'll have to replace it on, like, the next route. It'll be pretty good. Huh, how about that? You know, you using Worry Seed on me there is an advantage, because now you can't use Sleep Powder on me, so good job. The series seems short enough, I want to start with the original one. What are you referring to? Are you talking about Pokemon or something else? Because I, I don't remember everybody in the chat, so I don't know if you've said anything about playing them before. But yeah, if you are talking about, like, oh, Monster Rancher, yeah, I don't know anything about that. So I like how um, my team actually was fairly well suited for this Elite Four because uh, Crouton's here has the uh, poison subtype to take out some of the opponents. I've got two fire types. I originally had two water types, but one of them got in the boot, and it was uh, four times weak to grass, so I made a good choice there. 
And at this point, I'm just using Hot Mess for the sake of using it. Because uh, I gave it a lot of shit earlier, and it's actually not that horrible anymore. Ever since I was able to level it up, it kind of became almost okay. I'm still hesitant to say it's good, but it's tolerable. I would say that every generation got better than the last. I personally still prefer 5 over 6, but mechanics-wise, 6 was an improvement. Really the only things it did wrong, I guess, were just it kind of had a weak post-game, and that was about it. <laughs> I love when the music fucks up. <laughs> see how far this thing can carry it. If we can actually beat Lance with this stupid mag cargo, that would be amazing. Oh yeah, full restore, that's a bit of a shame. Leafeon is, uh, oh, it's using a special move, so I was about to say I shouldn't bother with Amnesia. Oh. again, because that was cool. Yep, we can. Alright, so I am going to Hyper Potion, Amnesia, and hopefully the next the next thing that comes in will be specially based. Another full restore, really? Four restores, Jesus. I have burned it every time. Actually, no, I think that one was uh, contact burn. Can we get a ancient power stat boost? Because that would be cool. Ancient power stat boost? No. And the last Pokemon of the playthrough is going to be, let's guess, we know it's a grass type, we know it's going to be relatively high base stat total. You already had two other starters. Could be a Sceptile or a Torterra. I'm going to say that it's something completely off the wall, and I'm just gonna go like. God, what other high stat grass types are there? Shaman! No, not really. Maybe Executor? I don't know if how high that one is. I'm gonna just guess Executor. Damn it! I was gonna say Vile Plume originally, and I didn't think its stats were high enough. Oh well. Dun, 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 dun. And no burn that time. Not even Giga Drain, just my bad. Yeah, because it's a Stone Evolution, so it's not gonna have. Elite Four having random legendaries would be cool. I don't know if the game can actually do that, though. I'm kind of surprised it didn't with the three Dragonites, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. You've <laughs> become truly powerful, Zippy. So Zippy can now add beat the Elite Four with a Mag Cargo onto its repertoire along with the big red one, CD-ROM, pokes an ass, etc. <laughs> Died in Vietnam, beat the Elite Four. After dying in Vietnam... It's been a long time.
So yeah, since this is um, obviously the end here, let me once again kind of go through the list and point out how frequently I've used most of these since the whole point of this playthrough was to be use a bunch of different stuff. So we've got the starter that I have used more than any other starter ever, most recently in, I guess, the Japanese Leaf Green back in like 2004, so it's been quite a while. No, that's not true. I used it in um, blue, like a year after that, but whatever. So, there's that one. Arcanine I used in my Crystal playthrough back in 2005. And that's the most recent time I used that one. Breloom I used in Emerald in uh, 2008 or 9. Octillery I used in Platinum when it first came out, which I think was 09. Mad Cargo I used in Fire Red Omega whenever that was. I think that was 2010 or something. And Gabite is the only one on the team I have not used at some point before. Good. So we got quite a bit of doubling up on types, but eh, I'm reasonably happy with this team. I mean, it's going to be changing in Kanto anyway, but I'm probably going to make up different rules for that, because I, the levels are so low, I can't really justify having to stick, like, a level 12 on the team. I mean, the whole point of this playthrough wasn't specifically to use stuff I've not used before. It was also just to kind of deal with randomness and see, like, how it would go. I don't know. Like how most of the action's happening on the bottom screen, which is smaller, but whatever. Yeah, I'll check the art after this. God, I sound like Vinny. Um, I'll look at that, and then I'm definitely ending, because Jesus, this is a long stream. But uh, I wanted to finish this up before Gen 7 came out, and technically I didn't, because I've still got half the game left, but whatever, I'm not going to count that. Good. I would speed this up, but it is cute and charming. Well, it can't be bold. That should have been spiky-eared, Pichu. It was an important addition to this game. Tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading the last episode of Minish Cap. Thursday, I'll at least attempt the Battle Maze on and why. Um, I can't guarantee it'll go well, but I'll try it. I figure at the very least I can, like, show off why I suck at it. I don't know. Um, and I'll subject everybody to look at my living decks for, like, a few minutes. Um, Friday will be Yoshi, like, uh... Well, usually it's Wednesday, but yeah, Friday will be Yoshi. And then next week we are starting the Mystery LP. Dark Sea, they ate me. The sharks fucking ate me. One eat on the deep. Wait, no, wasn't that Deep Blue Sea, not Deep Dark Sea? I don't know. I think it was Deep Blue Sea. Oh yeah, Deep Dark Sea was the the game that Arthur played, where like if you 
beat the game, you would get a phone number to call the developers and they'd like send you money or something. I don't remember. Let's play Ambition Babies. Mm, yeah, let let me. Th well, let's let's figure that out right now. For anybody who's worried about spoilers, if I'm going to be doing spoilers in the uh, Thursday stream, so saying names of Pokemon and stat move type stuff, we'll say that that's fine. Story, I don't know that much about anyway. But what do we consider? What are we calling features? Like this game removed this from X and Y, it has this new feature. Is that considered spoilery for, like, story? Like, I don't know where that one falls. I mean, that's game mechanics and not story, but, uh... Okay. So just avoid story stuff. Says one person, and I will now take that to, uh, represent the entire fan base. You hear that, super nerd? You represent everybody now. All the pressure's on you. I am going to allow this. Alright. That was heart gold. And, um... I'm deceased crab. Let's Keep listen to the, uh, more. printer error music. But yeah, that's it. So I guess I will see you on Thursday. This is... The grinding could have stood to be about two hours shorter, but other than that, this was a fun stream. And at some point in the future, we will be back for Kanto, but I don't know when that will be. But yeah. Can't ever be a proper stream without A, me mentioning that it's an abrupt ending, even if it isn't, and B, it is completely necessary to put Zippy in the stream at some point, so that'll be it. Bye.